This is Megan's channel. I'm her sister, Mandy Colossa, and we are about to go to Wills Park. There's a big Beachbody Super Weekend event there, and I'm a Beachbody coach, and she's also a coach on my team. So we're gonna be going there, and we're going to be checking it out. It's, at, it's got a playground for the kiddos, and there's gonna be a motivational speaker there, and we're also gonna get together for a really big workout at the end and just be like all in one, and we're all in this together kind of feels. So it's gonna be a very exciting day. Then we're gonna go grab some lunch after, and. I haven't been in Atlanta in a while, so we might have to go to Atlanta Bread. I was thinking that, or Taco Mac, I couldn't decide, but because I'm going to a wedding today, I was like, Megan, I should probably do a salad. <laughs> Not get bloated or stuff like that. But this her channel is amazing, so I'm really excited I get to be a part of it. <laughs> okay, bye guys. my favorite because I don't think it meets everybody where they are. So I think that the most important thing you can do is Google personal development based on what you need. So if you are struggling, you know, emotionally or you're struggling um, with leadership skills, maybe you're a growing leader, maybe you're a diamond, you've got coaches signed up and you're like, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing, then find a leadership book. Don't just read something because somebody says it's good. Um, you know, like all the Rachel Hollis books and stuff are amazing, everybody loves them, but maybe you really need to work on leadership right now. So go read a book for that. Um, and vice versa. So I think, you know, there's so many good ones and I have ones that I recommend my coaches starting out with, but personal development should be exactly that. It should be personal. So it should be something that speaks to you. Don't just go off of what the hot trend is. Oh, balloon. <laughs> yeah, balloon. Like so, if you are on the left side of this tree right in front of me. Look at you guys. And you're facing towards the parking lot. And if you're on the oh. other side, you're group two. And you're facing group one. Okay? I'll let you know what you have to do in a minute. All right. So, like I said, I like getting you guys involved. I don't like when I'm teaching a workout and have Gwen stares looking at me. So... Getting you guys involved, cheering, clapping, and making some noise. So, uh, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks all together, regular jumping jacks. Modified jumping jack, just step instead of jumping. But group one, you're responsible for counting reps one through five. Group two, you're counting. So, we are back now. Uh, we ended up going to Farm Burger because it's a new location near us on the way home. <laughs> and Henry fell asleep on the car ride, so now he doesn't want to take a nap. But you gotta take a nap. So you gotta take a nap. You gonna take a nap? No. no. So that being said, I think we are going to run our errands here soon. Hey, My sister it. accidentally left her wallet at the park, so she had to go back to go get that with her husband. So I was trying to put him to sleep and just gave up. So I, I decided to lay here for a little bit, um, but I'm going to get him dressed. Um, get some errands done because they're going to get ready for that wedding that they have to go to now. Um, so it'll just be us and our, our little normal routine, but I got a bunch of stuff I want to get done errands wise. So I'll take you guys along. Hey guys, so we are back from Ulta and Victoria's Secret and I'm going to do a little haul for you all. Now, the reason I wasn't filming in there was literally as soon as I walked into both stores, I was like, not attack don't say that I was helped by amazing people right away and it just kept going so I was in conversation the entire time um, but I got some great stuff I'm not gonna lie guys so I am terrible with spending money on myself and that that's kind of an issue at points because I wear the same clothes since I was in middle school sometimes in high school and I need to invest in myself at points I do invest in like my workouts and my eating and all of that but you know I, I like to look nice every now and then and a lot of my clothes is handy downs for my sister-in-law and my sister so 
stop that. But I did work really hard this last quarter at work and I got my commission check. So my husband was like, go get your nails done, go do something like for yourself. And I ended up spending a bit more money than I like, but that's it. Let me just show you guys what I got. Um, and you guys can let me know if I should return things. I'm thinking I should return things already. This is how my mind works. Um, or if I should just keep them. Okay. <laughs> And do not be my enabler. Tell me the truth based off if you tried any of these products, okay? So I really needed some underwear, so I'm not going to return the underwear um, because I know that this is my favorite type of underwear. And it's the Victoria's Secret Cheeky No-Show Bottoms. So I literally just got five of basically the same pairs of underwear. But yeah, they're the no-show, and I always get large. Um, even though when I look at like the, the measurements and stuff, it says I should get a small or a medium. Uh, girl got a booty, so no. And these were on sale. They were three for, or, wow, five for $28.50, I wanna say. I think that's their normal sale, so I'll wash these. I did like this blue pair with like the scalloped edge. Um, they just didn't have any without it. So I was like, I still like that color. So I got those and my sister um, had a gift card for $10 off. So I even got $10 off that. So that is not where I went wrong. <laughs> I did get myself for completing my program. I have one day, well actually two days left of my program. So I got this bra there that was $15. So I didn't try it on. So once I try it on, then I'll determine if I'm going to return it or not. But I just thought that was so cute. And anytime I get like workout gear that always motivates me like for my next program to get started on that. So I'd love to wear that with like some yoga pants. Y'all know I like my, my sports bra outfits. So that stuff is pretty much a keeper. I think I spent like 35 total and got all of that. So six items. Ulta is where I went wrong. So I have been looking for a skincare routine for myself now that I'm 28 years old. And the biggest thing is creases in my eyes. So I got this anti-wrinkle miracle worker eye. And I think this was like $65, guys. <laughs> um, she tried it on me in the store and I felt it working. So uh, what does it say here? It says, in one week, less noticeable under eye bags and puffiness, and then improved dark circles in two weeks, and reduced look of wrinkles in four weeks. So, ooh, we're gonna put this to the test. Let me know if anyone else has tried this. And then, this is the item, I'm not sure about guys. So, with that, I, I know like I have a cleanser here and I have a moisturizer that I was actually using for my wrinkles. It was the uh, P Biore, yeah, Biore Rejuvenating Anti-Wrinkle Cream. But, so this was only $24 and it's a cleanser and their moisturizer and it's normally way more than that. So this is the item that I might return uh, because I do have cleansers because it came with this super pack that has all of that in it, as well as the exfoliating facial wash. Ooh, I don't know, guys. So like right there is almost $100 on skincare, because that's, that's free. And then I need a nail polish remover, so that's fine. But that was like, what, three bucks? I needed hairspray, and I got the It's a 10, Miracle Super Hold Finishing Spray, and that's normally, what is it, $19, and I got this for $9.47. So that's stuff like definitely need. And then I needed more uh, Shape Tape Foundation. So I get this about every four or five months, so not too bad. And I got a new concealer, so Pure Disappearing Ink Concealer. Uh, so in total, that was $200 of stuff from Ulta. Uh. Okay, so I would love to hear what you guys think about these products. Let me know if I should return any or if I should just be like, girl, I, I mean, I, I'm him in the middle, guys. Look, don't worry about it. It's just all up in the brain when it comes to spending money on myself.
but I hope you guys like this. I'm actually going to end the video here because I think I have a ton of content from what I was looking at earlier. Watch this, it's going to be a short video. Uh, but I'm just going to work around the house now that my sister and my brother-in-law have gone off to that wedding and Henry is passed out. He ended up taking a nap at 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, I got some cleaning I need to do around the house. So I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to make a schedule for my next couple weeks of videos because I've already worked out. So I hope you guys like this. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.